So this, ah, uh, my goodness, this is the quintessential A24 episode of this season. I, I know I've been talking about it. I know I talked about episode 8 and I was like, oh, episode 8 is so A24. This is the most A24 episode of this particular show. This action, there is, the pacing and the direction just makes this I felt like it was a 15 minute experience. The episode begins with Isaac. Isaac has been released from prison. Can you imagine? Someone has suddenly called the officials and told them that it wasn't him who was driving the truck, it was actually his cousin. Oh my goodness. Now, Isaac is going back home, whereby um, Danny has a child, someone's child, with a dog. You get. Now everything just becomes complicated because now, well, apparently in, that, in this particular universe, when a, an Asian child gets lost, there's an alert that's sent. So the alert is sent that a child has been lost. So as they are in the house, Isaac comes in and he's like, yo, he, he wants to beat the crap out of Danny because Danny did not do what they had planned to do in episode 7. Uh, and he, Isaac is absolutely annoyed with Danny. So you have a situation whereby Danny's biggest fear, which is the biggest threat, which is Isaac, is in the room. He has this other situation with the child and a dog. And he has another situation whereby now he needs to find a way of returning. They need to find a way of returning these kids, this kid without any suspicion. We find out that George did not, George did not actually die. So, um, on the other hand, Amy has gone to meet Jordana to come clean of what she has been up to. Come clean about the road rage, come clean about the seat, come clean about what she has been up to and the kind of person that she is. During that process, we discover that Jordana and Naomi are actually a couple. They are living together. And on the other hand, Isaac is like, you know what, since we have this kid and we have the dog, why don't we blackmail these people, ask for ransom? So she calls, she calls Amy, who is in Jordana's house, and Amy is like, I don't have the kind, because Isaac is asking for 500k, because he needs the money for the lawyer. So he's asking for 500k. And um, Amy, who has now panicked, because he doesn't have 500k, yes, he knows, because she got a call from George, and she knows that June is missing, and now, now she knows that these people, Danny and Isaac, have, she knows that there's a mysterious person who has uh, her kid, and she cannot get 500k, so she cannot get 500k. So she tells, she tells these people to come to where she is, which is, you know, Jordana's place. She has a lot of stuff that they can sell for a meal. And obviously, Isaac being the greedy person that he is, he agrees. So now what do we get? We get these people, um, Isaac, Bobby and Michael, coming into, <laughs> coming into Jordana's house to steal these artifacts. Now remember, Jordana, Naomi, and Amy are still in that particular house, and it's at night. So they come in, so you have Michael and Isaac come into the house, and Bobby, Juni, Danny, and Paul are left in the car. So when they are left in the car, um, Paul, because they did not trust Paul, they had tied him up, Paul manages to free himself and they choke Bobby, then they take the child, they take him to a different car, then they inform Amy that the child is in the car. During that time, these two attackers are in are already they've already taken they've already taken Amy, Jordana and Naomi as hostages. So during that process a confrontation happens, then they have to escape. Uh, Naomi and Jordana try to run away. So they run into us uh, one of the safe houses that they safe section that they had in that particular building. Now during the process, um, I think it's Michael hits Jordana and she falls. So Naomi goes in front. So she gets to the safe house before Jordana gets to the safe house. So by the time, you know, Naomi is standing here, Jordana is coming and behind her, you can see one of the, because they have a mask, one of the people coming. So Jordana tries to run in, but Naomi panics and closes the door. And this is a huge door. So it crashes Jordana cuts her in the middle. That's now that, that's the A24 part of it all. Now during that particular period, after that happens, after the, the door closes up, you, you know, smoke goes up, so the area is, is not very clear. And during that particular process also, George now picks up Junie, we don't see it, and then calls the cops. So a few minutes later, the cops get there, and there's a shootout. Now on the other hand, um, Paul and, because now cops are, are standing at the, at the entrance. So cops are standing at the entrance, they are now walking in trying to shoot. There's a shootout going on. Isaac, they are exchanging bullets. Now, 
the back side we have Danny and Paul trying to escape from the house so uh -huh. so my goodness so Paul manages to climb up using uh, Danny but now Danny cannot reach Paul because the area is pretty high so Danny comes out and confesses everything that he has done and how much damage he has done to Paul's life so he's like go away go away I've, I've messed up your life so Paul leaves but then after now leaving on the other side you hear something like please stop then you hear gunshots so now Paul is might be dead I don't know but he's dead I mean obviously he has to be dead because we hear that stop stop or shoot then we have the gunshot so Paul might be dead. Now, when back on the other hand, we find out uh, Isaac is arrested. Then Amy finds out that the child, uh, Juni, was taken by George. And she gets an official letter from the lawyer saying that George has taken full custody of the child. Now, the, the, the one thing that I liked about this particular episode was Juni. Juni was having a great time. Juni, through all this chaos, through going into... <laughs> through going to... Through go... Juni through going to Daddy's house, which he still calls Zane, uh, during the, uh, as, as they were going up J Jordana's house when they were left in the car, they were still playing. So she was having, uh, she even, she even acknowledges that she's having a great time with all this. She's like, this is the best night of her life. So, so, so that was kind of funny. Now, the other thing we see Danny kind of sacrifice, uh, in, 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 in a way, come out clean about what he had done. So this for me was, like an interesting episode and you know after all that the shooting happens the people leave and then the house is cleared so you have uh danny is left danny is left uh, at the house there's no one else so he picks a, a one of the cars which is a hammer drives down the, the the road as amy is reading is going through her email reading the letter and weeping now the hammer and amy's car you know uh, it, 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 so they're next to each other, it's at night. So, <laughs> on the other side, Amy is looking at Danny, Danny is looking at Amy. And a middle finger is raised. And so, it begins again. The road rage goes up again and they start chasing each other again. After what they've been through, they start chasing each other again. Until now, the end of the episode, they go off the rails and just go off the road. Because the road ends and then it's, it's, it's a slope. So you see them going off and the camera pans back. And then there's a crow, a crow that I think Danny had done something. I think it had showed up something, or someone had mentioned something about a crow. Something, had, someone had, had mentioned something about. Um, yes, Isaac had mentioned something in episode. In, in episode six, Isaac had mentioned that when they were kids, um, Danny had uh, had helped a crow. Uh, that had a problem with a leg or something. So we see the camera now pan back to these two crows as you see both cars now go down down the hill. In terms of action, in terms of just suspense and tension and the pacing and the just the overall direction of this particular episode was pretty tense and pretty pretty good. It was really good. The action set pieces are okay. Um, that death is done very well. It's not gruesome, it's not on your face, but it's done creatively. So yeah, this was a very interesting episode i truly genuinely loved it and now we go to the last episode because the end of this is looking at these two people they are there now it's only about them you know initially you had all these other side pieces you had paul you had jordana you had naomi you had uh isaac now it's this episode 10 it's amy and danny this episode 10 it's amy and danny so everything else has been removed we have them going down a hill and we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if they're going to survive. So I will basically see you on episode 10.